you know, a lot of people in digital get scared of distortion. When you distort digitally, it's a very harsh sound. Well, it's because you can't control it. With dent and being able to use like the square wave and being able to square waveforms off and instantly make them more aggressive, for me, is key. I'm going to be using that thing probably on a daily basis from now on. Well, when it comes to distortion, I don't just look at plugins as foot pedals or uh, simulations of foot pedals. I also use it to create colors or to EQ to make something stand out in a different way. What I like from what I've seen of Dent so far is it can keep me from using EQ just to make something stand out in the mix. Coming from the pedal world where you, you know, focus in on the dirt and then you make it big and gritty and aggressive, especially when you get into the sort of sound design stuff with the unfiltered, being in the studio where you're writing while producing and engineering, in my mind is like focusing on EQing the bass, but I'm already thinking about the synth part that I want to get to next. And so I kind of built my presets around something that's going to sound cool with anything you put through it. No, I'm, I'm, don't put your cat through the fuzzy blanket um, preset. On my mix, there was a set of claps, not the synth claps, real claps but they were always buried in the mix. And no matter how much I cut the frequencies, how much I analyzed what frequency is giving or canceling or not, you could easily say, oh, these are just a keyboard clap, you know? But I wanted to have that human effect. So what I did, I said, you know, let me try this new plugin. Let me try the dent. That's when it started. I brought the dent in and the claps were all of a sudden Beautiful. I can't wait to use it for 808s. The distortion just sounds so crazy fat and the control that you have over it and with the options available and the modulation and all that on Dent, I think it's going to be killer throwing that on everything from 808s to... You can take that bass back to home to meet mom and dad, you know what I'm saying? And then this is the one you get that gets drunk with your brother later on. <laughs> I feel like this is probably just the start of a lot more that Unfiltered Audio is going to be doing with this stuff, but I'm loving all this. I think that Unfiltered Audio just nailed it. I know that plugin is going to go a long ways because it really just makes it everything richer. I would put a dent in something quickly. 